Taylor Townsend's here with us, special tennis uh, player. Taylor, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. This must be super weird for you because you were always traveling and always playing tennis, and now you're just hanging out at home. That's not your style. No, not at all. It is weird, but um, you know, I'm just trying to make the most of it, to be honest, and just um, trying to establish some sort of routine and and just kind of like keep myself in a normal rhythm. It's really hard because some days are better than others, but you know, I'm just trying to do my best. Yeah, I'm right there with you. And I think we're all jonesing for some sports right now. So I'm pretty pumped. <laughs> World Team Tennis event is going to be on CBS this Saturday. So why don't you take us back to uh, just, just playing the event and what it was like hanging out with some of the best in tennis? Yeah, it was really fun. I mean, that was one of the last, like, real live events that, you know, anyone pretty much played. So it was really fun. It was just some, like, I love playing World Team Tennis. It's obviously something different, different format, different style. And I think that the All-Star was just kind of like an inception to that. Um, some really great players on the court, um, and they always do a great job in San Diego, obviously, of putting on a great event, and the crowd was amazing. It was sold out, so it was really fun just to participate in something like that, and obviously something a little bit different prior to the actual season of World Team Tennis. You've been doing World Team Tennis for a few years now. What's been the best part of that experience so far? Yeah, I just think that for me personally, it's great just to continue to play. Um, for sometimes, you know, you don't really do well in Wimbledon or maybe not get into doubles or don't go really far in singles. So you have some weeks where you're just kind of like waiting to play. For me, it's great that I'm able to kind of stay on court and stay in a competitive environment, but with something a little bit different than your average, like everyday kind of thing. So, um, yeah, I, I mean, I enjoy just competing all the time. Um, I love playing doubles. I love playing mixed doubles. So it gives me a chance to kind of stay out on court but in a different kind of team setting. So um, I kind of thrive in it. I really love it. That's awesome. And reading up on your story, it seems like tennis has always been a part of the equation. You come from a tennis family. You're doing it since you were younger. Like, what do you remember when you first got going with tennis? Um, yeah, my mom played until she was eight months pregnant with me. And, wow. um, my, sis yeah, and my sister, um, she played for a couple of years before I did. So I was always kind of like around on the court while she was getting lessons and it made me mad. So when she would be hitting, I would like pick up balls and like throw them at her so that she can, because I was like, if I can't play, then no one else can play. That's messed up, but it is what it is. But um, <laughs> yeah, so I mean, that's kind of how I started. I've always kind of been around and my coach that I have right now is the first person who taught me how to play. So um, it's really cool to be able to have someone that you're so close with that taught you and kind of developed and structured your game. Um, so yeah, I've always kind of been around it and I grew up with Donald Young Jr. So watching him and his career kind of evolve from a young age as well. So, you know, I've always kind of had it around. Um, but yeah, I mean, that was kind of like my start into tennis. What do you remember about Donald as a young player when you guys were kids? <laughs> oh my gosh. He was so mean to me. Really? <laughs> he, always, <laughs> he always hit me. He <laughs> <laughs> so, um, was probably showing you that he liked you. That was how we used to do it back in the day, right? Yeah. No, he was like definitely ruthless on court. Like we would always do drills and stuff like that. And, you know, it was always co ed so it was like girls and guys. And so it was like, you know, you pop the ball up, like you're going to hit in the face. And I got hit in the face quite a lot. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah. But um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was really cool to be around Donald because he accomplished things like at such a young age, obviously like being a protege from a really young age, which was like killing it from, you know, 12, 13 to 18. And um, just watching him develop as a junior, winning junior Wimbledon, winning junior Australian and kind of like being around him, watching him accomplish these things. It was really like motivational for me because I was just like, it was really cool to be around that and be able to, when he came back home to celebrate with him, that was something that was really cool. I didn't really, 100% understand what was happening but it was just the fact that I knew he won and like he did something amazing and then ending number one junior so it was always cool and I was like I always wanted to do what he did because he was like my big brother I had my little sister but like he was like my, my older sister but he was like my big brother so I was like anything Donald does I want to do it too <laughs> so I mean I'm still kind of like that to this day but um you know just in a different way but um yeah so it was really cool to have him around and it was like an inspiration without me even knowing because it was just so normal for me, but that he was around and it was, it was just Donald and I didn't really 100% understand what he was doing in the tennis world. But, you know, looking back and having accomplished winning a junior slam and being number one junior, I look at it and it was like, wow, he did something amazing.
Yeah, it's great that you've had that relationship. And it's cool after all of Donald's success, like you had a great run as a junior player as well. So what was it like for you to live through those moments after Donald did that himself? Yeah, it was really cool. And I kind of had a sense of pride because, you know, obviously coming from the same coaches, you know, his mother and father worked with him um, throughout his whole career. And then his father and his mother taught me how to play tennis and were instrumental parts of my of my development. So it felt really good to be able to come from the same place and have the same two coaches develop two number one juniors. Like it's, it's amazing. And it doesn't happen very often. I don't think ever, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, I mean, it, I kind of had a sense of pride. Like, you know, it was something that um, I was really proud of and that I kind of pulled my head up high to this day. That's really cool. I think one of the things I'm most in awe of with tennis players is just how they mature at such a young age. Like you're playing yeah. juniors, you're traveling all around the world. How did you manage that? Like people are trying to figure out their teenage years. It's already tough enough. How did you manage <laughs> yeah. all that? Yeah. I mean, I think that like you don't really have a choice. It's kind of like you either get with it or you get gone kind of thing <laughs> because there are so many juniors that there are so many people that play tennis. So, it, you know, how I operate is obviously like, you know, if I'm not doing that then someone else is going to take my spot. So for me, I had to kind of stay on my P's and Q's all the time. So um, I was never kind of like a go out and party person. So that's good because I didn't really have that urge to like kind of break out and be like, Oh, I want to go do this. But um, you know, it is hard, especially as a kid, to to stay structured, to stay in that organization and kind of like making sure that, you know, you're taking care of your business. But like I said, if you don't do it, then for me, I felt like it was just, you know, what else is there? You know what I'm saying? So it kind of like drive me and motivated me to kind of stay on top of what I had to do. And I mean, all the experiences that I went through as a young kid really helped me as a as a young adult transitioning into being able to do certain things as a young adult, younger than a lot of people would typically do and just be a little bit more responsible. So um, yeah, it's, it's strange, but yeah, I mean, we definitely have experiences that are, that people don't get to until they're later in life. Besides Donald, were there other people that you looked to as role models, like just as people in general, and then even as players, cause like you as a lefty, I'm sure you looked at people a little bit differently compared to some of the other people coming up. Yeah, um, well, like I said, Donald was just really close to me. But, uh, like, game-wise, I really, like, I love Martina Navratilova. I love watching her play and, like, her game style and how she was on court. 